Everybody has his own special dream of what the world's going to be like in the future. But we all know it's steadily shrinking. One of these days, we're going to wake up and find that people and places we used to just read about are practically in our own backyard. the looks of this. Why not? It's going to be wonderful. It'll never work. You can't get along with those people. They're too different. We'll get along. We've got to. The future of civilization depends on brotherhood. this business of brotherhood. But we're all different. Are you? Let's take a look at the facts, right from the start. The first people on Earth knew only a very small section of it. They lived close together and looked alike. But pretty soon, they started to spread out. And as they drifted further apart, little differences began to appear. Most of the people of the world kept the same in-between color as their ancestors, and still do. But three groups on the very edges of the world population developed distinct differences in color. These exceptional groups gave rise to our idea of three separate races of mankind. Well, there are other differences in people besides a skin color. Yes, you find all sorts of hair, eyes, nose shapes, and sizes. But you find these same differences within each group. It's only color and a few other frills that distinguish our three races. The Caucasian, the Negroid, and the Mongoloid. For example, there is no difference in physical strength. Well, strength, sure, but... What about... There are 
are some variations. For instance, there's a difference of about 50 cubic centimeters in the size of the brain of the average American Negro and the brain of the average American white, both of which are smaller than the brain of the average Eskimo. And the largest brain on record was that of an imbecile. So it isn't the size of a brain that counts, it's what it can do. And their tests have shown that our three average men are equal. If you take their skins off, there's no way to tell them apart. The heart, liver, lungs, blood, everything's the same. Uh, everything's the same. Heart, liver, lungs, blood. No, not blood. Blood's different. Well, there are four different types of blood. A, B, AB, and O. Patient in room 216 needs a transfusion right away. I'll give it to him. I'm his brother. Stanley, he's dead. Yes, but he wouldn't be if we'd been more scientific about it. Brother or no brother, what he needs is type A. And the right blood donor for him could belong to any race, since the four blood types appear in all races. Say, we're not really so different at all. Like you say, it's, it's just the frills. <laughs> Only, wait a minute. I, I got a question. How come we live like this? And, uh... It wasn't always that way. For instance, at a stage of history, when the so-called pure whites of Northern Europe were little better than savages, the darker-skinned mixed peoples of the Near East and Africa had flourishing cultures. And the great civilization of Northern China had begun to develop. All peoples contributed to civilization, reaching high levels at different times, and each learning from the experience of the other. But there were certain basic ideas which were common to all branches of the human race. Belief in a supreme being, in the home, and the family. How civilized a person is depends on the surroundings in which he grows up. The differences in the way people behave are not inherited from their ancestors. They come from something called cultural experience or environment. Suppose you could somehow switch two newborn infants from entirely different backgrounds would not inherit their real parents' cultural experience or ideas or mechanical aptitudes. Those are things you acquire. Got a match, bud? Welcome yet morning for chai. I get it. But now that we're living so close together, we can get used to each other's ways and work together peacefully. <laughs> is a little real understanding and what I said before, brotherhood. Right. And we have to put those ideas into practice in certain very specific ways. We have to see to it that there's equal opportunity for everyone from the very beginning. An equal start in life. Equal chance for health and medical care. And a good education. an equal chance for a job. Then we can all go forward together.